This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. Powell myoclonus is a rare neurologic condition that results in the uncontrolled contraction or spasm of the soft palate and throat, along with head pressure and clicking noise and intense pain in the ears. Conventional medicine has no answers for this condition, leaving powdal myoclonus sufferers to live with this horrible disease. Maybe the medical field needs to stop looking for a pill to solve all of our health problems and look at health and healing from a functional point of view. Well, I'm here because of the powdal myoclonus, which has been really bad for a while now. Three and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years and I can't go to school, I can't work with other people in school as easily, and this is just holding me back from being able to do all those things that I really would like to. And with the constant pain every day, it is, it just really hurts, and it's really just annoying to have something like this there every day. I've tried Botox, I've tried tons of medicines, and acupuncture I've tried. That helps a little, but it doesn't help me completely. Originally, before I had came and I had heard of this, I thought it was going to be this huge apparatus thing with this balloon that went straight on my nose and got really, really big. Mm -hmm. with the, like this air compressor machine, but now when I came, I realized that it's just a little tiny hand pump mm -hmm. and this little tiny balloon that's actually the size of your thumb when it's not blown up. Mm -hmm. And it just looks much easier than I had imagined. And you're willing to give it a shot? Yeah. So you came here from which state? New Jersey. New Jersey. So you guys flew in just to watch it and then you're coming back? Yeah. Okay. So... Well, he's missed the first year he was diagnosed in second grade. He probably missed about 30 days of school, maybe more. The second year he tolerated a little well. The third year he probably missed 60 days of school. This year he's been home since September 25th he can't concentrate or focus, it gets worse over time. This has been the absolute worst year, so he's on homebound instruction. So he can't sit in the classroom, he can't focus because it gets really loud and it's very painful and so he can't concentrate. Um, the best comparison is try to do algebra, uh, try to do a calculus problem when you have a migraine. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. you know, you just physically can't do it because your brain is occupied elsewhere and you're dealing with pain and noise and just constant, uh, you know, attention issues. Well, this is this diagram behind you. Look at this. This is showing the metabolic capacity of the brain. So this is um, this is a, a window, a therapeutic window that we can utilize brain function. When we go above it, then the brain becomes very challenged and actually shuts down. I've seen that happen. Yeah. And then if we go below it, we don't have adequate stimulation to keep the brain healthy. Because you know, the brain needs three things to be healthy, glucose, oxygen, and stimulation. That's basically neuron theory. It's okay. like in any, any neurologist needs to look at that and have that as a foundation working with any brain-based condition with any patient. So trying to support adequate glucose, adequate oxygen delivery, and then adequate stimulation. And with Adam, we're trying to stimulate him in very unique ways, novel ways that circumvent the, the lesion, you know, the problem that he has right. in that area. And so we have to stay within this therapeutic window. Now, Adam, because he's had this condition for a while, you know, creates poor sleep, you know, it's disruptive, the pain, the inflammation, basically lowers this capa metabolic capacity. So I noticed that when I was looking at his pupils and that light sensitivity that he's got. So he's, his he brain's does, somewhat yeah. fragile. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to use glutathione with him, to kind of raise that ceiling up a little bit. But just naturally, as he starts to be free of this condition for a longer period of time, it's going to naturally raise this back up. 
But this, this is, explains why he's not able to concentrate, because the stimulation is the school. Right. Right? And the slows it down. See that? I can't believe it. That slowed it down. That slows it down too. Gotta go really slow, yeah. This isn't really as cold as it was, but I want you to try this again, okay? Yeah. Adam's going to attempt to set himself up on the table. So we use these different props to um, position his body very specifically. Because a lot of this work, what it does is it releases this deep connective tissue uh, called the dura mater, which in Latin means tough mother. <laughs> then you laugh. Yeah, it looks funny. It's, it's very tough. It's got 2,000 pounds per square inch of tensile strength, but it shoot the mother because it protects and it wraps around your central nervous system. So when we do the balloons and we have him positioned in this, um, in this manner and we have an assistant come in and hold his leg, um, it's specifically targeted to release a bone called the sphenoid, which has a, a lot of anchors with this um, dura mater as it comes up through the um, base of the skull and wraps around this, the areas of the brain. And so it's a specific release of this, of this dural complex. And um, that has a, a profound beneficial effect on the central nervous system. So there are we, a lot of We have of seen the profound effect on the central nervous system. Yeah, you have. We have seen it, for sure. Without and, a doubt. And you know, it's, there's a lot of different kind of working philosophies that I have for this work. Paloma Um Yeah, I'd the, like to hear it. The restricted dura philosophy is one of them, or dural adhesions. Of course, you can get that from traumas. You can get that from um, even birth. And another another aspect is the stimulation. The massive stimulation with, through the trigeminal nucleus has a balancing effect to the central nervous system. Um, by releasing and opening up the um, the, the sinuses and the breathing for a lot of folks, it helps them oxygenate their brain better as well. So I think probably more, more possible than not is that it's multifactorial. You know, there's a lot of things going on here. And even though um, anybody that might be watching this video may see me do some different stimulation things like you see the iPad or head movements, it's not going to work the same with every patient. And, you really need a practitioner that is skilled to be able to look and try these different modalities to see what does seem to help the myoclonus 
um, and utilize that to use that stimulation component of a healthy brain. And we, in the beginning of your visit, we talked about stimulation, oxygen, and glucose. Mm -hmm. And so the functional craniolytics works on all three of those because there's delivery through cranial rhythm, which is that pumping action that we're upregulating with the balloons. And then you also have the stimulation component because the balloons are stimulating the trigeminal nucleus. And then you have the functional neurology where we're using, in his case, the iPad head movements. We used ice. Um, initiating the dive reflex and all of these things kind of have an accumulative effect to calm this whole thing down. in the table, he's ready for his, is this number three, third, treatment. Turn the other way. Okay, deep breath in. Okay, pressure's coming in. Pressure's coming in. We're almost done. Almost done, there we go. <coughs> Good. Acupuncture, Mom. I only want to do this. And if we lived here, I'd come every day. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's cool. But he, he's been like happy. Mm -hmm. He's gone to bed. He went to bed again this, every night this week, except at the beginning of the week. No medicine, no chronic. Because since yesterday, I have actually I've only had clicks really when I swallow. And even when it does click, it's not really that bothers. He has no pain. That's awesome. He has no pain. He lives in pain every day of his life. Mm -hmm. He's had no pain for a whole day, right? So what do you want to tell him? How awesome is this? Well, I'm really glad that I don't have to keep dealing with all this. Which, of course, is a lot off my shoulder. Yeah. And it just feels much better to be able to get back. I can't wait to get back into the actual world. And this has been like a fun, like everything else you were doing, you were actually enjoying, right? You enjoyed the aquarium. Mm -hmm. Used to be when we'd take trips, we'd have to go back to the room, we'd be in so much pain, we'd just have to leave, we would split up. My husband and I would take it back to the room, and he would just lay there. And... That's incredible. He stayed on the beach all day for one day, and yesterday with the aquarium all afternoon. And... Yeah. and he went right to sleep at night, no problems. Two nights in a row. Awesome. No medicine, and went right to sleep. Answer to prayer. And you know, there's other kids out there that have the same thing. There are. Well, Adam was the third case that Children's Hospital of Philadelphia had seen in the last 50 years. Well, like I said, there's another case that just came in just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He gave me the schedule for the other one. I think he said break it in three times a day. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to try that too. And should we try one at a time? How you doing, Adam? You still good? Happiness. Can you put a price on happiness? <laughs> My child feels good. We're all happy. Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com.